Well, you also explain, I love this part too in your book, the four types of watchmen. Mm -hmm. And these are Hebrew words, and I can't remember all the Hebrew words right now, but essentially the most popular, the most common word for watchmen that most teachers teach is shamar, mm -hmm. the shamar prophet. Mm -hmm. And so the shamar prophet is one who guards, one mm -hmm. who protects. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all the different types of watchmen, there's baseline operations. Mm -hmm. All watchmen are going to warn. Mm -hmm. um, there's a particular kind of watchman that essentially is like a spy. So you remember when, when Jehu was riding furiously his chariot? He was yeah. going to tell the eunuchs, throw Jezebel down. Well, the watchmen saw Jehu coming, and they sent out different ones of, Jehu, uh, of Jezebel's family. He says, is it peace? Is it peace? He's like, you know, come around and follow me. There's no peace. And so that, those are the ones that look out really fast far into the distance. Mm -hmm. Some watchmen have a further purview yes. than others. It's so true. I've, I've seen, I mean, I've seen it with Jim. I've seen it with Cindy. I've seen it with so many different guests on our show that have the different yes. vantage point, so to speak, yeah, I guess, absolutely. right? It, it mm -hmm. really is amazing. And you, and in this chapter, you say things like this. You guard your, your sphere of influence. Discern the difference between friend and foe. Mm -hmm. Wow, powerful. Warn the church report to those in authority, work with the gatekeepers, make intercession. And I'm just giving you a little bit. That's why you've got to get the book and so and to understand mm -hmm. what's going on in this day and age.